Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain one more topic in assignment problem. In assignment problem, the last topic is a traveling salesman problem. Traveling salesman. TSP. Traveling salesman problem. What is mean by traveling salesman? Uh, um, a traveling salesman goes from one city to another city, visiting each city only once and returns to the starting city after visiting all other cities his duty is a traveling salesman is he visits once uh, he goes from one city to one other city visiting each city only once and returns to the starting city after visiting all other cities this is his duty that means like a chain like a loop he has to he visiting all the cities only once and again he has to come to the starting city the cost of the uh, the cost of his travel cost the cost of his travel from each city to every other city is given they'll give you the objective our our aim is our work is the objective is to give the route map the route such that the total cost is minimum our work what the cost is given the cost from a, the cost of his travel from one city to another city is given and our objective is to give a route in such a way that the total cost must be minimum therefore the tsp the traveling salesman is also an assignment the traveling tsp traveling salesman is also an assignment in which in which the what is the first point going from one city to itself is not allowed from one city to the itself same city going from one city to uh, itself is not allowed that means i i one one cell or two two cell or three three cell that's why i i means that may be first row first column or that may be second row second column or that may be third row third column or fourth row fourth column or fifth row fifth column whatever I, I sell are given the cost as infinity. Why? Because the cost of the uh, the cost of the I I sell that uh, I I sell means I throw I th column. Now that means second row second column or first row first column or third row third column whatever. Sell are given cost is infinite. The, uh, the sell is given cost is infinity. Why? Because uh, going from one city to itself is not allowed. The second point is uh, the travel should be a cycle. It has to form a cycle or a loop. The travel should be a cycle passing through all the cities and no city to be visited twice. They have to visit a city in only once, not twice like that. Travel should be a cycle in, in, in which form we have to visit all cities like a cycle and each city they have to visit only one, only once not twice like that these are the two rules not allowed itself the going from one city to itself is not allowed uh, twice uh, visiting a city twice is also not allowed this is about tsp now if you go to the first problem again the same assignment problem only we have to do in some different manner they will ask if you see the first problem tsp problem solve the solve the TSP traveling salesman problem with the following cost matrix the cost matrix is given like this and solve the TSP problem they have asked like this if you observe this given problem in the first row first column infinity is there second row second column infinity is there third row third column infinity is there fourth row fourth column also infinity is there that means you can easily identify the TSP problem they will specify in the problem itself as well as they will uh, you can easily identify uh, I, 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 I cell I, I cell means I throw I th column is infinity like that they will ask now we will do the first problem now row minimum same Hungarian method row minimum if in the first row the minimum is 16 second row minimum is 40 third row minimum is 32 fourth row minimum is 36 step 1 step 1 is row reductions row 
reductions. First row. Now, if you subtract 16 from the first row, how much you will get? Now, infinity, infinity only. Because infinity minus 16, infinity means what? Infinity is very, 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 very large value from that to the infinity. If you add something or if you subtract some small value, they won't get, you won't get any difference. Infinity, 30. 0, 24. Now, 40, subtract 40 from the second row. Huh? How much you will get? 1, infinity, 10, 0. Third row, 32. If you subtract 32 from the third row, how much you will get? 50, 0, infinity and 28. And fourth row, 36. If you subtract 36 from the fourth row, how much you will get? 4, 4, 0 and infinity. Row reductions over. Now we will do the column reductions. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Now step 2 is column reductions. Column reductions. Column minima. Minimum value in the first column is 1. From here, as usual, Hungarian method. 1, 0, 0, 0. First row minimum is 1. Now, so that first column is infinity minus 1 element is equal to infinity only. Infinity. Z, uh, 1 minus 1, 0, 49, 3. Now, these and all as it is, we will write infinity is 0, 30, infinity is 0, 4, 0, 10, infinity, 0, 24, 0, 28, infinity. Column reductions over. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Now we have to draw the minimum number of lines to cover all zeros. We have to draw the minimum number of lines to cover all zeros. Now here first two zeros are there. One first line. Two zeros are the second three. Now check whether all the zeros are covered or not. Zeros. All zeros are covered or not. You check it out. Now all zeros are covered. But how many lines we have got? One, two, three. Now the minimum number of lines to cover all zeros. Is equal to number of rows and columns. How many number of rows and columns? Four are there. But the minimum number of lines to cover all zeros is equal to three, which is not equal to number of which is not equal to number of rows and columns. Minimum number of lines we have got three, and the number of rows and columns we have got four because three is not equal to four. Therefore, the solution is not optimal. Therefore, the solution is not optimal. Why not optimal? Minimum number of lines to cover all zeros is equal to three, which is not equal to which is not equal to the number of rows and columns. Therefore, the solution is not optimal. What we have to do now? Now, identify the minimum value from the uncovered elements. From uncovered elements, the minimum value is 3. What we have to do with this 3? Subtract 3. Subtract 3 from the uncovered elements. Add 3 at the intersection points. We have to do what we have to do with that 3. Subtract 3 from the uncovered elements. Add 3 at the intersection points. We will write. 
identify ident identify the minimum least value least value from the uncovered from the uncovered elements here 3 is the here 3 is the least element what we have to do with this element subtract 3 from uncovered elements and add 3 add 3 at intersection intersection point point now how much will get see this table you see wherever uncovered element is there subtract infinity minus 3 is infinity 30 minus 3 is 27 this is as it is 24 minus 3 is 21 0 I will write infinity as it is as it is I will write again one I am I missed one number subtract 3 from the infinity 27 0 21 now I will write as it is the intersection point 10 10 is the intersection of two lines we have to add 3 13 and 0 at wherever intersection is there we have to add 3 this one as it is the 49 0 intersection point infinity plus 3 is infinity only and 28 3 minus 3 subtracting 3 from the uncovered cell 3 minus 3 0 4 minus 3 1 0 infinity I subtracted from this one I subtracted 3 from the uncovered elements I added 3 at the intersection points of this one carefully wherever two zeros are there in whichever whatever the column wherever two elements are there we will first cancel this one here two zeros are one two zeros one two now the remaining zeros are only this one this one you can draw either vertical rows or horizontal rows that is your wish we have to draw the lines in such a way that all zeros must be covered and the minimum the number of lines are very much minimum 1 2 3 4 now all zeros are covered as well as the number of lines is equal to 4 minimum number of lines to cover minimum number of lines to cover all zeros is equal to number of rows and columns is equal to 4 we have got 4 lines as well as number of rows and columns is equal to 4 therefore the solution is the solution is optimal now how to write the optimal solution I will tell you now to write the optimal solution first we have to draw the boxes how to draw the boxes I will tell you first row if you see only one box is there we will put one box here here we put one box that's why we will cancel this and second row there are two zeros are there here I used box that's why I will cancel this third third here and fourth this is cancelled means only one left over 
we have to draw boxes to the zeros we have to draw the boxes to the zeros in such a way that there should be only one box in each row and column now i will write the assignments now therefore first row a row first row c b d third row c row c row b d row d row a now in the given problem what is there we will see in the given problem we have in the given problem first row third column is 16 first row a to c 16 b to d 40 c to b 32 d to a 40 if you add all the values how much you'll get 16 plus 40 plus 32 plus 40 is equal to total cost is equal to how much you'll get 128 is equal to rupees 128 total cost is equal to rupees 128 now i will form a cycle see from this we have got we get what we have got a to c a to c c to b a to c c to b c to b after that b to d b to d after that d to a first a to c c to b b to d d to a now i'll form a cycle a to c c to b b to d d to a a cycle formed a to c c to b b to d d to a again starting point if like this you have they have formed cycle in such a way that the total cost is minimum 128 rupees and which is a cycle which is a cycle hence hence the solution is a to c c to b b to d d to a with minimum total cost is equal to rupees 128 with rupees 128 thank you